Benchheads is based on a program out of Australia, but we've adapted it to what we're doing here in Winnipeg. Many men, when they retire, don't have enough to do. They say, oh, I'm going to do my hobbies. But you know what? If you're carving, where do you do your hobby? Down the basement? Yeah, maybe your wife will let you, but not in the living room, not in the bedroom, whatever. And so we have a, a group of men who come here. They're doing their hobbies. They're getting involved in the community. They're playing cribbage. And it's all about the camaraderie, having a cup of coffee. Senior men don't have enough to do with other senior men. Quite often they are involved, but what happens, like at the local uh, senior center here, it's 80% women, 20% men. So we've provided a, an avenue where men can come and do things together. They can volunteer together in short-term volunteering. They can learn together. They can mentor together. And when they go home, they feel a lot better about themselves. Today, most of the men are here doing their hobbies, whether it's carving wood or carving bark or doing stained glass, but it's hobbies along those lines. Tomorrow, at a Deer Lodge Community Club, they're going to be fixing walkers and restoring walkers on behalf of International Hope Canada, who ship the walkers overseas to communities in need. On Friday, we're going to have Men's Sheds Cafe, and so we'll have a four or five course meal that the men have made. We also do short-term volunteer projects, where, for instance, the Friends of Gardens Manitoba don't have that many men or members, but they need tables set up for their Mother's Day plant sale or this kind of thing. So we'll go out and work for an hour or two, set up the tables and come back at the end of the show and take down the tables. And it's a group of men just working together and doing things. There are men's sheds that I know of in at least four other countries. In Australia, they have close to 900 different groups of men and it's become part of their national health program. In uh, New Zealand, the last time I heard, all I know is that they have over 50. In Ireland, they have over 100. In England, they have three. And as far as I know, this is the one and only men's shed in North America.